day 13, November 4th. It's a super still morning. We got on stand probably right about the beginning of legal shooting time this morning. And uh, just a few minutes after we got up in the tree, there was a chase going on behind us. We didn't get a real good look at the buck. That's been about 15 minutes ago. And, uh, you know, we're hoping that they'll circle back around so we get a, at least another look at him and see if it could be the one that we're after. This is the block of timber where we think that, that Skinny's living. You know, we don't really know for sure where all this deer goes, um, but the places where we've been getting the most pictures of him have been right around this block of timber. So we're in the middle of it now. Uh, I wish it wasn't quite so still. On these still mornings, it's just so tough to get to the tree stand without bumping deer because every little crunch that you make, the deer can hear that for 200 yards. But we got in pretty clean. We spooked one deer on the way in. So we're just gonna kind of roll with it here a little bit this morning. It's cooler than it's been, about 40 degrees, you know, which by no means is cold, but it's definitely back in the range where the deer will move. You get it much above 50, and they, they seem to shut down pretty fast in the mornings. And in the afternoons, of course, you're dealing with whatever you got, but it's nice if the day stays under 50 degrees for the most part. It just seems like the deer move best under those conditions. I had quite a few deer go by this morning, but unfortunately, we're not very well hidden in this tree. It's a basswood tree with no branches. And uh, if the deer sense any kind of danger at all, it seems like they find us up in this tree pretty fast. There was a group of does that came through early. And I tried to shoot the one that was most likely to, to pick us up, but uh, I don't have enough shooting lanes around here and ended up not being able to get get her shot and uh, she blew a couple times which wasn't good. We've had a few other deer go past as well and, and some some have picked us up and some haven't but it's a it's a risky spot. I've hunted it a ton of times over the years. I'm sure being real still like it was this morning that didn't help us either. It just seems like deer are a lot warier when it's real still and when there's a little bit of a breeze. Uh, the morning is about three-fourths of the way finished for us, I'd say. It's warming up fast. I've got a bunch of work I've got to do in the office, so I'm not going to stay uh, in the tree probably as long as I should. But uh, we're going to wrap this up pretty soon and then uh, get back into a, another stand for this afternoon's hunt. I'm not 100% sure yet where we're going to go. We'll keep after Skinny and keep bouncing around someplace in this area where we think he's living. And hopefully we can at least film this buck. Got trail camera pictures of him, but we haven't actually seen the deer on the hoof uh, since early August. So it'd, it'd be nice to at least lay eyes on him and film him again. For this afternoon's hunt, I'm going to get down into the creek and work my way around. Uh, there's a clover field and then a standing corn field. And then on the other side of that, there's a little field of big and beastie that I put in. And there's a fence line that runs between the corn and the clover on one side and the big and beastie on the other. And the deer are crisscrossing through there and working up and down along that fence line between a block of cover, block of timber, up the hill, and then a bunch of uh, uh, deer cover behind me, which would be further down towards the creek. So it's a pretty good little natural travel area. Um, it's, it's on what we believe to be probably the north end of Skinny's Range. This is the area where we filmed the deer during the summer, uh, back in early August. The biggest problem we've got that we're fighting tonight is still the temperature. Uh, high today was somewhere in the low 70s, low to mid 70s, and uh, it's still probably almost that hot. 
you know it is the 4th of November and we are starting to hear about and see some bucks that are paired off with does and some pretty aggressive chasing so I, I do think that uh, we're gonna have some daylight activity today uh, we're gonna see some deer but uh, whether we see mature bucks out actively cruising or not uh, I'm not sure on that you know it might still be just warm enough where they're doing a lot of that kind of heavy movement at night when it's cooler but uh, this is a good setup and it's gonna be a fun spot to hunt we can see a lot uh, it's, it's just a, a neat spot so uh, I'm looking forward to getting back in there and, and uh, seeing what pops out tonight seen uh, three bucks and two does so far. Uh, one of the bucks was a borderline shooter. I think it would have been a case of ground shrinkage though on that dude because I think he was only a three-year-old but he had a really nice set of antlers for a three-year-old. At first <clears throat> I thought it was a deer that uh, we have a little bit of history with over the years it's a five-year-old and if, if that was the case I'd have been tempted to shoot him but uh, it's not that buck this was a nine the one I'm thinking of is a ten and uh, a good bit bigger but uh, at least it got the blood pumping so it shows you that even though it's 75 degrees out when the rut is on these bucks will move at least some uh, we have to be really careful in this spot because we're right out in the wide open and there's lots of trails that converge right here. So I'm keeping my head on a swivel. In fact, there's an eight pointer right now up in that clover that's uh, the same buck that we saw a few nights ago across the creek on that uh, small soybean food plot. He came down here earlier and I don't know if he saw us or picked up a little of our scent or something but he was in the corn and he turned around and went back up again and now he's out in that clover field just kind of looking around he's not going anywhere he's just standing there looking for does but uh i'm going to cut it off now so i don't get caught talking when i should be uh looking for movement uh like i said about 45 minutes left we'll bring in everything that we see in the rest of the blog my plan is to hunt um, every day now for a while if I can. Shouldn't have any family things coming up. Uh, should be able to devote myself to the next, uh, hopefully solid week of hunting the rut.
I see him. How big do you think he is? What's that? What kind of rack? 150s. Do you have enough light? Just trotted into the big and beastie. 